at one point in time, there was a people who didn't have any king over them like the rest of the people did. And they whined and cried and said, hey, we want us a king over us like all the other people out there who got kings over them. They seem like they're doing fine. Anyway, it was a disaster. And it always has been. History has not repeated itself. History has just maintained that people love to have somebody ruling over them for some reason. Go lay down. Now! That was my dog. You can rule over animals if you want to. That's fine. Which is why I yell at my dog when he doesn't act right. Which is why people are ruling over people because some people are just animals. People love having people rule over them for some reason. I guess they're just not capable to do this on their own. So, how it goes now, how history has carried on is that it's no longer kings and queens for the most part. That has been swept under the rug. The king is now behind the curtain. So now what we got is this political system in America, other places too, where you got presidents and senators and congressmen and all these people. And all these people are calling shots and making the rules for your life because you're just not capable to govern yourself. I do not support this party or that party, this president, that president. It doesn't matter who the president is. And what the sad part is, is that anybody that supports that system is just pretty much under the spell of it. You are saying that you're just, you've got to have somebody do this for you. And in that, that I don't directly support anything, I understand the purposes of the whole political system, the president and all this stuff. I'm not one of the people that say, oh, I support Trump. And I can't stand to hear that from anybody because it just, it shows where they're at, where they're at in their mind. Whenever they say, do you support Trump? I support Trump. He's the president. Like I said, it don't matter who the president is. If you support that system, you're stuck in it. You're stuck under it. You're not going to go anywhere else. You're not going to rise up and rebuild something new as long as you're stuck under that system. As for that fact, all the people proposing this militia stuff and a Second Amendment going to rise up and take over the power, you're not qualified to do anything but just, if you was to successfully tear that down, all you're going to do is just rebuild the same old bullcrap that is right now. And all that means is that the people who have been in power are just going to keep their power because you're not qualified or capable to do anything but the limited thing that you already operate under that's exactly what you're going to build again so you're not going to win anything even if you win if you want to fix the problem all you gotta do is quit supporting quit supporting that system of course that takes a lot of people to get on the same page with for it to make it possible but it all starts with one person you so those are the solutions. Quit supporting it. It will no longer have power over you. It will no longer have control over you. As long as man is your leader and rules over you, you are not free. You will not be free like that. Someone special to me gave me some motivation to try to make videos again. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll make some more in the near future. And no dogs or any animals were harmed in the making of this video. So anyway, till next time, thanks for watching.